Hello. Hello, everybody. Good night, everybody. How you doing, everybody? All right. The numbers are go. That means good night. Here we are going now, people. I know I'm not going to say I chat too much. I know I'm not going to say I'm enough. I know I'm not going to say I always want business in our concern. But here we are. 90% of the time, or 95% of the time, when you accuse me of chat too much, and enough, and re, I always end up right. So here we are. I don't care who wants to chat too much. Me I got chat too much. Because you know, IQ is not on my level. Zine, I want to see where me see. And if it take a year or two years, I want to always say, where foot I it say, come to pass. Because right now, all labor rights in Jamaica, where they cost me, and where they send me to enough and lower them prime minister, them shut the hell up right now. Then, and them they in our corner. Now, see my friend Rich Lee here, and me never ever come like about that something, but since Rich Lee come in something, because I angle the situation if I'm man in half of the media, and I got angle it from the media now. Then, this story in question with the youth where them find two hundred thousand dollar zin some people are getting twisted some people are say the youth and the mother lie because him under is that is not the case cause me talk to police this morning me talk to regular people and me talk to liar this morning zin Different, different sector people. Down at Jamaica. Zin, watch you go on now. I blame one, the police, who apprehend this youth here and lock up this youth here. Then two, it sure that the system where an operator dealing crime in a Jamaica is broken. Zin, and three, it sure say the government, the powers that be that implicated this new law under the disaster preparement management, whatever they call it, has no consideration for the poorer class of people. I mean, I gotta break it down too, you no, know, and tell you know why I said that. Zine? All right. Now, remember the lady will come and explain. I'm sorry, I don't have my next phone when we could have read it out loud. Where she write, can we get that piece of paper where she write? Screenshot. But to me, let me phone my next phone in the next car. Zin. Um, first thing, one of the police has explained to me today. Zin, he must say. Him believe say the look of youth lie about him age. Zin and that's why him could get charged as an adult. Cause remember the lady come and say you know, the youth get charged as an adult. Upon reaching in the court case, when him call up on their court, them realize say him is a underage person and transfer the case to children court people if you listen word play when people are talking up they never say i'll know the lady don't say the youth get charged and in get charged and sent to the adult court you know she now explain how him get charged, you know. She explain how them send it a family court. Our children court or where them send it, juvenile court. But the thing is how it get past the station front where him get lock up till it reach a court. The officer that apprehended this child. Zin, listening up. The, the officer where apprehend this 17 year old. Before him even get charged, when you write him up, you know, ask him age and him name.
the two things that's required when you get arrested your name and your date of birth your name and your date of birth i think that lady that put out that statement today is lying them realize say, them get caught in a problem and them are set things when a gossip. When the police pick up the youth, zeal and carry the youth got the station and have him in the little cell or the holding area. You're going to write what this youth is charged for. No, you have to write this youth your name. And him date of birth. And the third thing you gotta ask for him address. So how him reach a court as an underage person. And who no never knows him underage still him in a court? Who no tell that me? Who no tell somebody like me? We get locked up multiple times. So who no never knows him underage still him reaching a court? So who write the report? Who write the case file? Who sent in the case file? In data birth never left on the case file. And make me say this now. Make me say this. Give the police the benefit of the doubt because they are the law. Let's say this 17 year old lied and said he's 25. Wanna follow me now? Pay attention in you know, the people. Don't just make nice. Let's say the 17 year old was apprehended by the police, taken to the police station, up and being charged. He lied about his date of birth and his name. So, like me ask the policeman today when me and him are reason. So, me say, if him can lie to the police about him age, because that's the allegation, and I say, I'm going to lie to the police. If him can lie to the police about him age, him date of birth, and him name. See? And then you know allow, because the police are telling me today, say, I go to bail him and them get her, who them get for bail him, have them ID and have everything. Okay. So, you are saying to me, with an intelligent IQ, somebody will have sense and know how the system works, that this man give wrong age, wrong name, and wrong address. But yet still, when you allow somebody to come bail him or give him station bail without any proof of the information that has been given to him. So our police system. So say this 17 year old was a mass murderer and a wanted man. So who would allow a wanted man to be apprehended, charged in a wrong name, in a wrong address, Z, wrong date of birth, and get bail for go home. Is that what you are telling me? That our justice system is so flawed and broken. That a criminal can just give wrong name. And wrong address. And wrong everything. And get bail for go home. Without. So where is the system put in place to make sure. That the information given by the culprit. Because this is a criminal you know. You're bringing me in as a criminal. So how are you going to now believe that the criminal is God and everything that the criminal say is true? People are looking to what I say now. Say the youth tell lie. See? Say the youth tell lie on him age. That's why he was charged as an adult. Whose negligence is that? Who could be blamed for that? That means that the biggest wanted man in the world could have been 25 and come in a station and say, I'm 17 and let him go without any proof of knowing say, I'm really 17. People don't tell me, on a, on a, on a reason with me if I say, madness or why not. So obviously, the judge was doing the judge's job because when him got the adult court, the judge realized, say, I underage and send it over the underage part. But I am speaking upon apprehension. When you apprehend this youth, 
and carry this youth to the station. Write up him case file. Write up him bail ban. Write two hundred thousand dollar on the paper. Oh, you do all of that and you don't know say the youth are seventeen. You feel lose your work, officer. You feel lose your work. This is and then now come out and speak like everybody where I hear this thing you are an idiot. Me don't want to talk about who a party with you without mass. Me don't want to talk about that. Me not straight the reasoning. Me a reason right there, so. Oh, it reached to court before the know say another youth real age. First thing, you lock up somebody, right? And you charge them for a crime. You're supposed to call them next of kin, you know? Whether it be him wife, whether it be him mother, whether it be him auntie, him guardian, somebody. He is required to get a phone call. So the phone call there would have you the officer talking. Do you know John Tom? Offer 37 Walnut Street address. Person I gotta say yes or no. You gotta say yes, you know him. He gave us this number to call as somebody to call in times of trouble. What is your name? Okay, your name is Elsilda Brown. Elsilda Brown, what is your relation to the accused? Well, I'm a grandson, you know, and him left out this man, you know, I'm not him. Well, we have him in custody here at the station, and we need for you to come over here and bring your ID. Am I, am I, am I, Am I talking garbage? Am I people who tell me me I speak rubbish, you know? Who no tell me if me I speak rubbish? People, please tell me if me I talk foolish, yes or no. People, please. Tell me if me attack rubbish or me I make sense. Up on your guardian or your parent or whosoever your emergency contact may be arrives at the station. Now the officer will ask, How old is John Tom? You are gonna say John Tom is 25 or 24 or 17 or 13. What is John Tom's real name? That person who come as in the person of contact of his say, his name is Jonathan Eswaldo Tom. That's before you write a bail ban and send in a case file. So why it is upon meeting the judge this youth here, people are finding out say my 17. People will not tell me if I talk foolishness, you know. People, remember me not get into the reason why I'm get locked up yet, you know. That I know what we are talking about, you know. We are talking about, say, how this lady I come tell we say. When the youth go adult court, them find out say my seventeen and send the case go a juvenile court. Wait a doing an adult court in a the first place if the police them they do them job properly. You know, hear me I say yeti boss. The court is saying it's a lie. But I do not buy what the court is saying. That piece of paper that the lady have, she never write it herself. The piece of paper where the lady have, she did not write it herself. 
So all I want to talk with the court say, me at this point not care what the court say. Somebody in a justice system a lie. Me not say the little boy mother a lie. Because she cannot write that paper herself. That is the whole point. Somebody violated. Somebody not do them work right. Yeah, somebody said them all look out for one another, but them look stupid. It's not looking out for each other the problem, you know. Them look stupid. Because it shows you that up until the level of the judge, on a fault upon the job. The police will lock up that youth here. And then carry my station. Because sometimes I see the police lock you up right here. Up, you know? So when the police take him off the road and carry my station. Depending if it's the same police write him up. Or the man at the front desk write him up. Them go low. Because them should have taken necessary measures there. So to find out him real age. Him real name. And him address. So from there and then. At the front desk of the station, when you are getting written up, when the report are right and the case are put together, they would have no say a juvenile court for Senate. On that for now, on a pre, on a pre, what I say, on a pre, what I say, you cannot mistakenly end up in an adult court if you're under age that are a mistake that are pure negligence and lack of professionalism that means what i'm saying now the people now if you look upon this you know that means the most notorious criminal can be abducted upon the street for a violate the disaster preparedness management act Get locked up by just laws of the universe. Go in a station. Tell them lie same name foot a hype. Tell them same a 20 yard. Give them wrong address. And them give him bail and make him go on. If that happened to the 17 year old. Per se. Let's say. Him tell them life and him age and everything. Him get bail. And him go home till him go court. So that means, say, anyone of our most notorious criminal them could have go in there. Oh, the police system, I go bank, and you the criminal telling them your real name and your real address, all of that. Oh. Oh. I don't know if the judge gave him bail or a station bail him getting them. I don't know, but I am saying, even up until, even if the judge gave you bail, your case file have to go in for the judge. You have to, you have to get charged. Your case file, the report, have to dead there, all of these things. There are ingredients that go into the file that go to the judge. You understand what I say? So that means, say, the the mishap and the fault them start up from the front desk of the station. I think what is happening is them get caught in a problem for no so them lock up the little youth, throw him in the system, and just lock him up, and then know it bust out say my 17 because the mother video got viral. And now they might try to twist it. But you cannot twist it. Him go to adult court before they send him a juvenile. Oh, it reached there, sir. Oh, it reached there, sir. That is a violation of your human rights. Oh, them not ask for the youth ID. And if you know, if if him not an ID, you have to hold him a special till him point of contact, him person of contact forward. They must have to bring either him age paper, him passport or something. 
if him not have no ID for him. I don't have to go bring him school ID. Or him TR in or some, some form of identification. For sure, say him that. So, the lady that will come out today, come give her speech there. I'll know she now say what caused the lock up and all the man reaching the adult court. She ungla tell we say the case was transferred to juvie. Why is it being transferred? It should not have been in an adult court in the first place. Kawana got tell you, say, Uno never know, say, my 17. So, what the data birth you have per file? What in a case file? What was the data birth? How the judge find out, say, my 17, and Uno never find out, say, my 17? That means, say, uh, somebody lie. If the judge can find out, say, my 17, the first time him got caught in a that means either the judge asks him, him age and him says 17. And if that is the case, that means the police lie on him age for lock him up in a big jail. Or if he lied about his age on the report, that means the judge have other ways and means to find out same as 17. Because if he lie about him age and go into the court, he might keep him same story about him age. So that means the judge would have to ask somebody else. Or the judge don't know him under age. Because the judge don't work off a way that he report, you know. So more than likely, the judge asks him, How old are you, Mr. John Tom? And Mr. John Tom say, I'm 17 years old, your honor. And the judge said, No, but me can't deal with the case, yeah. This is not my something. The judge will make sure to put themselves in another trouble. The judge will make sure say this point of incorrect behavior stop right as so. The judge said juvenile court. So there's a discrepancy somewhere along the line. And I do not think it's the youth telling a lie on him age. Remember you know, me read police, you know. And my rate street people who have to just start the truth. We have to just start the truth be something alright. And sometimes Jamaican police have too much ego. They know the law, but they want to get a rough time. And they want to go through be a problem. Them throw you in a cell, them charge you for this, charge you for that. That ain't make no sense. Because you have to go fight through the system to prove, say, you not do that. So because the youth out there go to protest and the police them in them ego and probably the youth they have all attitude them just saying right wrong age and fling you over there so make you go over big court. Now treat you like a little boy. Because it's say it you know people when you listen to the woman said today you know the woman said he was charged as an adult. Oh that happened. How was he charged as an adult? If he was 17, how he charged as an adult? How he did do the thorough process for finding out him date of birth? What kind of system police force are run under? If people get locked up and you can't know them real age and real name, that I first thing for happen. We have a reason now about the magnitude of the fine. Because today, we see some people are coming from a page. I say, if I Andrew Wellness are the judge, and what Andrew Wellness will do about that? No. The breach of the, of the Disaster Preparedment Act. The police, them now, have option. To override them rule and do be a thing because they must say it's a pandemic 
and it's an emergency. Zin and people are violate protocol. We now go get into when people up a stadium figure take the joke or the line them full up and everybody itch up on one another and nobody not the six nor ten feet apart. No time. We now go talk about that. We now go talk about when the lockdown day them are come and the supermarket them full. The line them long. Everybody are rub up on one another. You have to make sure you're behind a woman that's when you rub up on her. You know, feel like you're gone. We now got to talk about that. We are going to talk about if you break the protocol seen by the Disaster Preparedness Management Act. It is a open charge. Meaning the maximum of the fine is up to a million dollars. You understand? Up to a million dollars. They do not specify if I'm for mass or if it's social distancing or if you're walking in a no movement. They are anyway the judge have the judge have one million dollar to play with. No, this is where the government comes in. So all who are say if I Andrew do this and if I Andrew do that, this is where. The government come in, which Andrew Holmes is the leader, the head of the government. The governing body that governs these things and implements these legislations and these things. Andrew Holmes is the top of top for that. See? You're lucky I worry about them at. So, guess what now? I what did them implement that something there, you know? Since the whole pandemic thing, you know? So, I am saying, as a leader, this is where I beat Andrew all the while. You know? As a leader, Zin, you now consider the people them, whether liar I get implemented pan. How much people you think can find anywhere from 200,000 to a million dollars for not wearing masks? How much people you think I can find from anywhere from 200,000 dollars to a million dollars for outside 5 or 10 minutes after the lockdown time? How much people you think possible if you can pay 200 to up to a million dollars, if you not have money for buy groceries, if you stack up and come out on a new movement, if you go right to the shop, go buy a big jilla aisle and pound a piece and look at rice. How much people you think I got have from 200,000 dollars to a million? So, oh, you can make a legislation like that with that wide open access there for the judge beat the people. Eh? You must. Put in place in other something where I implement say alright. If a mass in a avan, pay one ten grand or one fifteen grand. If a no moment they out a door, pay one twenty five grand or one way. way. In not put not nothing like that. It just wide open so the judge can charge you four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, hundred thousand, anything the judge feel. The judge of that room they can play with the whole million dollar with it. How oh, you feel do that? I now say, you know, if you put in your rules, you know, but make it accessible to the people, make it survivable to the people. How much people you know can take up $200,000 figure a peer fine? How much people have $200,000 in their bank book where 